All right. Uh, you know what? I want to power up our or beef up our stuff. Oh, go for it. Yeah. Uh, well, let's do because you're a shotgun guy. Go ahead and get that up there. Uh, capacity? Well, let's let's see what else we got here. Grenade launcher. Let's do ammo increase. Thirty six. Good Ooh. lord. And then a capacity increase for four more stars. I want you to be able to do, like, a lot of shoddy. So there you go. Well, max power then. Oh, wait, no, not oh. quite, not quite. Oh, we'll, we'll get there. We will. And then two stars, can I do anything for that? Oh, yeah, ammo increase. Sweet. 1,500. <laughs> cool. And oops. this one clip has 1,500 bullets, and it just reaches the floor. <laughs> All right, can I please leave? There we go. Save there. Let's continue with the mansion incident. Or as some plebs call it, Resident Evil 1. I don't like this one. You don't gotta like it, you just gotta suck it up. Yeah, I know, I'll, I'll deal with it. But I'll still complain about it. Like hell you will, no complaining there! <laughs> Chris just slams his hands on the <laughs> desk. No complaining! <laughs> his other, uh... Forgotten ego. Yeah, just come on, Joe. What are you doing? Oh, you're God, Leaving. go punch a boulder, loser. <laughs> God, if he was a jock in high school and that he had the boulder puncher puncher moniker before he started stars. What, what's his favorite kind of music? Rock music. That's right. We got it. What's his favorite kind of fusion music? Rockabilly. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What's fair wrestler? The Rock, right. That's right. It'd be too dangerous to move Richard now. And surprisingly, Ric Flair seems to protect themselves. I'm still worried. Oh, doggos. Easy. Oh wait, hold on. I I need to hold off on gloating. Definitely. Otherwise, bad things happen. What happened to us? All right. Uh, let's hurry. I know we'll be heading back through here. So I'm hoping we don't miss the first aid spray or any healing items. Nope. I don't remember Next this it. part in Resident Evil There's 1. A path on the other side of the water. If we we need the crank. Oh, now we're playing Resident Evil 1. So. Nope! Down here! Reticle. There we See, go. The, the, the thing is, red is such a, a nice color to lock onto. Yeah. Blue is so cool and it doesn't Ooh. pop out as much as the red Ooh. does. So my eye is automatically drawn to the red. And... <laughs> And it doesn't hurt, it, it doesn't help, that sometimes my, my, my reticle turns red when I shoot stuff. That is true. Whenever it gets a critical hit, it'll flash red, so that doesn't help. Here we go. We have drained the water. And there's a zombie down there. Ah! Oh, there's a zombie right here. Ow! Back up! Back up, son! Okay, either they give us, like, pea shooters for pistols, or that zombie can tank a lot of energy. Yeah, th this is why a lot of... S rank runs go for like constant headshots, but I'm just here for fun. I don't really mind a rank unless it absolutely matters. We already know. <laughs> oh, snacks! I have an idea for uh, one of these things that we can try one day. Oh, sure. Justice mode. Justice mode? Oh, you know what justice mode is, don't you? Do I? Yeah, you go, uh, you go down to one of these, uh, Real shooters like Time Crisis or uh, uh -huh. Lethal Enforcers, and uh, you put you put in money for both guns. Then you pick up both guns. Oh, justice. and both at the same time. Justice mode. Oh, dude. Doesn't offer as big of an advantage as you think. That means it's twice you got to reload, yeah. and you're, you're still one guy shooting the things. Just now you're shooting about the same. Maybe if we ever do House of the Dead overkill. <laughs> So what I sometimes do is I put I put the guns like together, <laughs> like oh yeah, do, 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 do. so it's like I'm shooting just you know, one gun, two bullets. Oh seriously? Oh, more snack. Where do these snacks come from? Where am I aiming? They come from thoughts. Kill them. There we go. We did it. Oh, more snakes. I think they're just falling from the trees, but that is a lot of snakes to be falling from the trees. Did we disrupt a, a family of snakes? My favorite fact about snakes. What's that? They do have feet. Wait, really? Yeah. They have feet. They have feet. 
Uh, win feet picks, please. You can't see them because they're like... They almost look like scales on their underside. Uh... They're they're practically useless. They're like appendixes for snakes. Oh, just absolutely pointless. Yes, a vestigial organ. That's a good word, vestigial. Vestigial. It's a good insult too. It's like I, I find your artwork vestigial. Vestigial, good man. Sterile, vestigial, and unremarkable. <laughs> Simply degrading in this time, in our time of good art. To call it mediocre would polish this turd too much. <laughs> I'm just imagining high. Like, like seriously, turn your head. There are two ways to go. Which way do you want to go? I think it'll eventually pick. So, really, where do you want to go? God bless it. Okay. No, no, I want to go the. Oh, I. <laughs> It wouldn't have mattered which way you would have chose. <laughs> I didn't care, but I wanted to do a bit. I'm actually surprised they're letting us go to the underground this quickly. Okay, wait, no, stop, you can't. Uh, no, wait, wait, no, wait, no, no, you're not allowed to go down there yet. Who is that? I, I mean... Uh, the zombies are down here reading magazines. They didn't expect us to come this way this early. Chris, what's happening? Oh, it's Wesker. He's sounding like a zombie on the radio, and I, I, I think he might be evil. No, I'm not. <laughs> nuh uh. No, you are. No. <laughs> You're the evil one. Nuh uh. You're the one who wants to infect the entire world with the. Wait, what? Ooh! I will take that. I got a grenade. No! Oh, no, the worst. They are, in fact, the worst. Hunters are terrible. How do I throw a grenade? Uh. So, your knife, whatever your knife button is, press the fire button when you're holding down for knife. Okay. And this is instant death. Ah! My greatest nemesis! I want to punch it! No, Chris, come on! No, 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 no. Not at this velocity. One day, I will be strong enough to punch a boulder. <laughs> One of these days. And then he also got rock-hard abs. <sighs> Here, punch it now. Alright, giant spider boss? Eh? Yep! It's covered in wet. So, in this boss, you can actually kill the poison. Or, sorry, you can shoot the poison out of the air. Kill the poison. So, yeah, that was the boss, Black Tiger. It was just a giant spider, and it's already dead. Or at least it was a boss, and... Shotgun is make, shotgun's making good things happen. I like good things. Like five twitching dead spiders, that's, uh... See, again, I, I, I have a uh, spider up. threshold, and we are almost reaching it. Oh, the, these are not big enough for you to say, uh-uh. It's not, it's not about size, it's about number. Okay, I, I understand that. Like, you know, there's one big spider, oh, you know, whatever, ain't no thing, so I'd step on it, sure. Mm -hmm, it's then I lift my foot, and hundreds of little spiders come underneath. Uh, that's nah. That's nah. No, no, no. I'm not all about that, bro. I'm not about that. That is not what I'm about. I'm about not that. <laughs> so, uh, it just kind of took us all over the place. Uh, we're now in the cabin, and I think I know who the boss is now if we've this, already- This fucking window? If we've already killed Black Tiger. Like, my guns aren't gonna break this window, but he is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> this is military grade, grade weaponry we're dealing with here. Military grade. Military grade weaponry here. The <laughs> Whisker told me that I was what? the most important member <laughs> of the stars. Captain Whisker said he was the most powerful thing in the universe. He throws rocks at me. <laughs> That's where he got the bullet punch thing. <laughs> Captain Whisker stopped throwing rocks at me. Oh, we actually got him. He lost his father to alcoholism, and what was his drink of choice? Something on the rocks. Rolling rock, of course. Rolling rock. Rolling rock on the rocks. Oh, oh God. How, de how depressed must you be to put your beer in on in the rocks? In ice. <laughs> <laughs> Sip it like it was whiskey. Ah, oh, you pleb. Oh, there's a checkpoint. The oh, don't you point at me, young man. D oh, sorry. Uh what do you think they're looking at? You. Uh, oh, me? Do you have to the look down on me? The player. 
Jill and Chris, do you really have to look down on me like that? The game is looking down on you. <sighs> As it should. Did you see that C rank he got yesterday? Feh. <sighs> Worthless. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Another loading screen here. Yep. What a thrill. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> it's like three steps. What a... <laughs> oh. Alright, th this is one of my favorite moments if we're gonna do a little bit of reminiscing. When we did this part in Resident Evil DS, and you, ah! and you found out how we were going to take out the shark boss. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> One of my favorite moments of that is when you absolutely called it. <laughs> They're just flopping around. <laughs> There's a little floppy shark. Can we get a cutaway for that? It flops around like a fish out of water. How did you know? Is that what happens? That is exactly what happens. Are you serious? We just beat the shark boss. Neptune is no more. Huh. Huh. Yeah, that was the shark boss. Okay. <laughs> yep, 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 there he is. <laughs> Hi, Neptune. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. No, no, no. King of the sea. <laughs> Classic. I hope there's at least one moment where we see Floppy Shark. Would you, would you please? <laughs> oh, I hate myself for this. I'm ah! gonna hate myself for this, but uh, floppy shark, do 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 do. Floppy shark, do 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 do. I hate you. Floppy shark. She goes without saying that I absolutely despise that song. Oh, here we go. Watch out for sharks. There's something in the water. There must be it's something right in the water. Ah, fuck you! Brella Chronicle girls were unforgettable. All right, here we go. Yeah, so yeah, that, dodged it. that's a really unique scene. <laughs> Depending on what you do in the rest of the game, Richard could show up, you know, not eaten by a snake, and then he he takes the death for you. He jumps in the shark's <laughs> face. No! Don't come! And that's how you get his shotgun. No joke. You you grave rob him moments after he dies. He would have wanted me to have it. No, I wouldn't have. I want to be buried with it. He would have wanted me to have it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think we're finding the plant. Never mind. There's a lot of bosses in Resident Evil Remake. Evil plant do 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 Evil plant do 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 I don't think you know that song, do you? Evil plant. You seem to be living under the good rock. <laughs> that that has not heard Baby Shark. I think I have. I if, might just get be getting the tune wrong. If if you if it's buried in your mind, keep it buried. It is it is bad stuff. Okay. I'm actually surprised we didn't get to fight more sharks. And now we're just here at the boss. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this big gross thing. It's just Baronade from Ocarina of Time. Yeah, practically, yeah. All right, shoot you, the... You, you, you got a boomerang there, Chris? Uh, shoot the inner thing. The big bulb. Oh, that thing. All right, you, what if the camera cooperates? Uh, its tentacles will be shooting uh, acid. We can shoot the acid. Like right now, we, we can shoot this acid. It's too big! Jesus! Oh, oh my God. Something we can do... Ah! Oh! It's alright, there's there's health like everywhere. Do I, I really love it when they, oh! uh, when oh, they tell oh, me oh, to do oh, a quick oh, time oh, event oh. with the with the motion Woo! control? Yeah! Gotta love that. Alright, we're back here. That's unfortunate. I kinda wanna go back up because there is there is health up there. I'm just shooting. Uh wait, where the where the hell's the weak point? That big glowing thing there? I thought so, but he wasn't getting any damage. All right, be careful. I'm sure it's dangerous. Oh, come on! Oh, really? <sighs> Ow! All right. 
so why isn't this working? I guess technically it is, but it just doesn't seem like it's working. Also, yeah, I love that we can actually shoot acid. Alright, I'm gonna aim for uh, one of these healing items. Oh. Ah. There we go. Oh, that did a lot. Ah. Are you fucking kidding? Let me go! You what did what? Uh, all right, back well, down here. All right, we're back down here. I am running dangerously low on ammo. Uh, how are you doing on your on your big guns? Well, uh, we we'll just go ahead and unload. I'll take care of the acid. All right, almost there. Yep. I think I got this last grenade. It has its name on it. Stop moving now. I missed. Oh, oh wait, no, oh, I didn't. did you? Oh yeah. I'll take that. In an alternate scene, Barry would have come in with the flamethrower. Just got some weed killer, you know. But I think that's how you get that part of the scenario is you actually use the weed killer, but it's of course not enough. So you have to have Barry come in and help you out. Oh Barry! Oh Barry! I think the best part is he actually does get entangled in the vines, and then he's just like, ah, and then he, yeah, he's just just goes Rambo with the flamethrower, just takes it down. Just goes Rambo with it. He's like, yeah, I got you. Stay with me. I got it. Maybe you, the master of unlocking, should take it with you. Should should should, should what? <laughs> take it with you. What? Take it. With you! I think he's getting worse. Thank you! Uh -huh. With you! Oof. Oh, Thank yeah. you! With you! It's definitely getting worse. Yes. Yeah. Alright, comes in. I've got this. You take it with you! <laughs> you, you, you what? You what? Take it with you! The League of Extraordinary Accents. Uh. This chapter has one of those unique scenarios where you can choose where you want to go, eventually ending up in the same spot to finish up the level. So instead of just you know, fading through all the different parts where we missed files, we actually only missed the files in the secondary path. So I'm just going to show you what the second path entails, although there is a file right here, right before you're able to choose, so that's kind of nice. They give you an opportunity to take a pot shot at it. Now, the secondary path is actually more akin to the original Resident Evil remake. So let's go ahead and head through the garden. I guess they were thinking a lot of people choose left. That way the hunters would get a proper introduction. They weren't in the first level, but they're in this one. And when you go to the underground, they actually don't have an introduction, so they're just there. That's why I was so freaked out and say, oh my gosh, a hunter here out of nowhere. So uh, this path is actually kind of really boring. I'm glad that during the Let's Play, we went to the underground because you just fight the normal stuff. You fight zombies, you fight dogs. When you actually get to the cabin, you do fight some other enemies. And it's truly intriguing how main parts of Resident Evil Remake were delegated to a separate path. As soon as you enter the cabin, by the way, look straight up and there's a file. Just thought I'd throw that out there before we jump into the gallery with a bunch of gigantic spiders. We had spiders down in the underground, and they were here too, and where did you come from? <laughs> They're coming this way. Got He's just, oh, hello, I see, seem to have lost my way. Can you please direct me towards the gallery? Uh, yeah, this is where they were introduced back in the normal game. I shouldn't say introduced because they were just there. Like, you walked into this gallery and then the camera angle was positioned as such to where you look above you and go, ah! but uh, yeah, so you fight giant spiders either way. I guess that's a good way to reach a happy medium because they don't want you to miss out on all this eight legged goodness. So they have you fight them no matter what. There's another quick file there. You still have to deal with crimson heads, classic. 
Honestly, it feels like there's not too much happening in the underground by comparison. Like, you have a lot of enemies you have to fight in this pathway, but not much in the underground. Yeah, you got spiders and you have a boss arachnid that you need to take care of. But here, it's just, oh, hey, we're going to go into this gallery. You have a choice on whether to go up or down. There isn't much of a change, so I decided to stick with the down. It's mainly just ammo and healing items that you're missing out on. Again, these pathways don't really matter, but I still wanted to show at least one of them off. Oh, and you also have this, like millions of tiny spiders that you do have to kill all of before you move on. So if anything, this pathway is just a time waster. And I love this. As soon as they do that, they decide, you know what? We should go back. <laughs> they did all of that and just decide, all right, we should probably turn around and peace out. And this is where you would end up if you went through the underground path. This is precisely where you would be. But instead of zombies banging on the window, this is a change I actually kind of like. You deal with a hunter. The rest of the level is exactly the same, but that is a change I actually agree with. Because if you have a new enemy that has a proper introduction, you might as well fight them a lot. After going through that secondary path, we got all the files. And I'm quite content with that. And of course, I couldn't leave this episode without showing what happens when you get hit by a giant boulder. Well, what do you think happens? The exact same thing with the explosion in Resident Evil Zero. You just freaking die. So, yeah, not bad. We've made it through technically half of Resident Evil Remake. And I actually do like how they segue into the last segment of the game. Basically, you just tiptoe into the last area. It's like, oh, hey, it's like finding a 20 on the ground. It's like, oh, look at that. <laughs>